Welcome to 2018. I'm Nev Sweeney and this is Under the Choco Tree. Today I want to talk to you about a different type of uh, low cost but high efficiency irrigation uh, that really works well for perennial plants. So uh, when you're putting in fruit trees or shrubs or whatever, um, you want to get the water down where the roots are. Uh, you know what it's like when you're out there watering with the hose and pushing the water around and it takes a while for the water, particularly if you've got mulch, to sink down and get where you need it to be. So you get a bit bored, move over to another plant and what happens is you wind up with a fair amount of water going around the surface of the soil but not getting down too far into the soil. So what happens then is the, uh, um, the response of the plant is to put a whole stack of roots at the surface of the soil to take advantage of that water that you're putting on. Um, the result of that of course is when you get a hot day the, uh, the soil dries out uh, and the plant gets moisture stress. So what we need to do is get that water down into the soil where the plant's roots can use it and follow it down into the soil so that uh, the plant has a much deeper root system uh, which is better when we hit those uh, hot dry times. And the method I'm going to talk to you today about is called deep pipe watering. To make a deep pipe waterer uh, what you need is somewhere between 400 and 600 millimetres of 50 millimetre tubing. Uh, I chop it off at 500 millimetres because I buy the stuff in uh, one metre lengths and that means I get uh, two deep pipe waterers for each length that I buy. Um, the idea is that you drill a series of holes 50 millimetres apart down one side, mark it to make sure you know which side the holes are on and then when you install it you make sure that the holes are facing the plant that you wish to water. To make a deep pipe waterer um, get hold of a measuring tape and a pencil and along the length of one side mark out holes 50 millimetres apart. Once the holes are marked and you put your index mark up the top so you know which way the holes will be facing, get yourself a 3 millimetre drill and drill out each of the holes. So there you have it, all the holes drilled. Now that the holes are drilled, we've got to think about how we're going to cover the top. Uh, the deep pipe water will be installed vertically next to the plant, roughly about the drip line, um, so that you can water down into it uh, to get the water down to uh, the root zone. The thing is, you're going to want something to go over the top so that you don't get uh, small creatures falling into it, you don't get uh, a whole stack of rubbish and dirt and any mulch that you're using going down into it as well. My first idea on how to do that was to use one of these uh, little caps which fits over quite nicely and doesn't look too bad in your garden. Um, unfortunately when I did all of that uh, and we've got a whole stack of them in the front yard is every time I wanted to water I had to get down on my knees, pull the cap off, put the water in and then get back down on my knees and put the cap back on again. So that turned out to be nowhere near as much fun as I thought it would be. So I came up with another idea uh, and the idea is I cut off some of this uh, so that I had a, a ring and then cut the edge of the ring so that it's open. Then get some, well I suppose you could use just about anything, I used shade cloth but you could use any open with cloth, weave cloth or pantyhose or something uh, and then you just fit the ring over the fabric to keep it in place and there you have it when that gets installed uh, you can water straight through into the ground and you won't have any issues with the uh, deep pipe being filled up with uh, rubbish. So thanks for watching that's how to make a deep pipe waterer and in the next video I'll show you how to install it. If you like what you see then leave a like down below uh, or a comment uh, or of course uh, please subscribe.